up ladies and uh, mushroom tipperinos how you guys doing today it's a uh, nice blue sky yet nice little brisk to the nips weather today a little bit of a little bit of turning your nipples into some laser cutter action weather but not too much of laser cutters maybe enough of a laser cutter to cut through like some mild like hasbro plastic but not enough to maybe actually cut through any metal of any sort but it's nice to be out making some videos again my uh for those of you that didn't um know or catch maybe my last video if i even remember talking about it my uh my dad made a like an abrupt trip out here he took like a week off vacation uh you know he works a lot out there in texas he lives in waco and uh, he took an abrupt vacation and then we were on the phone one night and he's like man i wish i could come out there and he because it's you know it's stupidly expensive to travel you know and uh i was like what about greyhound hangs up with me calls me an hour later saying i'll my bus will be there and uh we just spent the last like three days together and uh ended up having to come back go back home yesterday so i ended up using that three days to i guess have my own little vacation as if i need a vacation i mean making like youtube videos and shit but uh yeah i just hung out with him and shit and uh yeah and i didn't upload or twitch or do anything for those three days i i'm one of those people that has to has to be like always doing something productive and like I, and, and if i don't i feel like a worthless piece of shit more than i already am so um nonetheless it was fun though to spend time with my dad i knew that made it a little better but man i come back going back into reality listening to shit going on the internet and uh Man, I, I tried to stay away from this. I tried not to talk about this, but damn that coronavirus shit. I can't even go like a day without hearing about that. And it's actually, you know, I got that brain that overthinks shit and thinks of practicals and practicalities and hypotheticals and there's busting a green Kawasaki down the street. But man, that shit is getting crazy. And all the shit I'm hearing about it. And remember I was like, I remember making a video not too long ago on what would you do if like we had like a worldwide pandemic or like the end of the world, like some fallout style shit. <laughs> I hate that I'm a, a worrisome dickhead about dumb shit too, man. I'm one of those people that'll be like <laughs> going out of my way to just stay away from motherfuckers and not touch people. What really caught my eyes this morning, I saw like something trending and about and, and it was about a fucking dog that contracted the virus. A, four, a poor little fucking puppers just getting the coronavirus. Holy shit. Not even, not even puppies are safe, man. But holy shit, I hope this thing just, like, you know, gets under control, like, 100%. They can vaccinate these people, save as many lives as possible with this shit. Man, man I can't comprehend, like, something going bad with the pandemic. Those of you that know, the American healthcare system is probably the worst thing in the fucking world, dude. And I don't think you could sustain some shit like that getting mainland over here. That means I'm going to have to, like, take it real easy going through all these ghetto clinic, like, alleyways and shit. Because, man, I'm going to fucking pick up, like, a hot sauce packet. Next thing you know, I'm going to have fucking coronavirus injected straight into my mushroom tip via Taco Bell sauce. For no reason at all other than I picked up a a packet of hot sauce i can't see how that would happen but i'm just uh making some guesstimates here man i've actually ironically been through an experience before where i had to be uh quarantined and people had to come in with masks and shit just to be around me and it was when i was uh about seven years old i think i've talked about this before i had a uh, scarlet fever uh cross with strep throat and as gross as this is the doctors say it probably happened because i had chicken pox right before that and they say it's probably happened from me scratching chicken pox and then putting my fingers in my mouth or some shit which man i was a dumb fucking little kid if i did that but uh yeah i had that and that shit was that shit was fucking terrifying dude i had i had shots getting put in my feet and my thighs and my legs and oh man and then you know seeing people coming around me with masks and shit so like you guys know how i always like to explore and shit i'm gonna have to be extra extra careful now Ooh, i remember this place it's fucking creepy down here 
I remember I went down here one time last time I explored, and some guy just walked up from the tunnel down there and just started staring at me, and I was like, eek! Oh, shit. Better watch where I'm riding right now. Look at that. That's just a breeding ground for disease down there. Look, that tree was all fucking off. Oh, shit, there's like a bunch of flies right here. Sometimes I'm worried about, like, these areas. Like, somebody could have just, like, overdosed and killed over and their body's just rotting down there and shit. It wouldn't be out of the normal to come across something like that out here. That's for damn sure. There's actually flowing water down there. That's creepy. Only creepy because it's probably full of disease and shit. One thing that's actually really really funny about the whole coronavirus shit is that i mean it's not funny for corona but the beer company corona that something that like 38 i saw they did some polar survey that 38 percent of people wouldn't drink or buy corona <laughs> oh speaking of corona let's go get a corona and fucking grill us up some fucking ribeyes doc who's down we got a barbecue right here easy to use look charbroil quick set damn this shit's hot what do we got in here Damn, this shit's ready to use. This shit's good to go. Let's cook up some fucking ribeyes and some ribs. Hey, look at this beautiful bike. Look at this guy. My my beautiful Grom still chugging along. For those of you wondering, yes, the Grom is still my favorite motorcycle. You know, if you were to probably assume or guess what my favorite motorcycle in the world could be, you'd probably think like something like an expensive ass, like BMW S2000 or S1000. I don't know why I said 2000. I'm, I'm thinking of S2000 like a car, like a dumb shit. Oh shit, that muscle car spot like burned down. Holy shit. But no, my favorite bike is a little $3,500 Grom. To this day, to this day, having this bike about four years now, this bike is still my favorite bike I've ever had. Don't know when that will change or if it will change, but this is a bike that I will always love. Well, you guys want to see something cool? I stole one of Franny's uh, stickers for one of her makeup kits because some of her makeup kits get like cool stickers. And check this out. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, the lips ready to suck that sex juice right off the spigot but hey if less people are drinking corona that means less corona is going to be bought that means corona is probably going to have an overabundance of stock that means deep sales for corona that means i'm about to be getting crunk off corona dirt cheap now so i'm probably going to go have to drink me a couple Coronas. Now that we got this little shortage going on, I, I'll help them out. Yeah, but imagine, <laughs> imagine how Papega you gotta be to think a Mexican beer called Corona has something to do with a coronavirus. Imagine, imagine how Papega you gotta be for that. I wonder why this truck's got a light bar. Man, it's like one o'clock and I haven't even eaten breakfast yet. I need to eat some food. Look at this guy, all excited. Hell yeah, man! Fuck yeah, dude! See, the Grom's his favorite bike too, man. I'm telling ya. Split, 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 easy, split, split. Gonna split my dick right inside your hip. Damn, I haven't seen a car with hydraulics on it in a minute. Remember in the 90s, those are so fucking popular, dude? You'd always see so many people bumming some like 80s bangers. Like, white line, go the way. And then their fucking cars is rocking back and forth like someone's beating cheeks in the front. No turn on red. You just broke the law, Subi. Now prepare to pay. No. Nice jacket, you cock fucker! They're like, hold up, Lance Armstrong. We left him behind. I'm gonna join the pack. I wanna go on a ride. I have to join the pack. I'm part of this. I'm, I'm admissioning myself into the, the holy bicycle ride of San Bernardino. Oh yeah. Jacket, bitch. Wait, what? Nice bike, huh? Mind if I join along? Oh yeah, let's go. It's a nice day for a bike ride for sure. Nice and cool, nice and sunny. How far are you guys going? Oh damn, that's far. Where'd you start? 
Oh man, that's like 20 mile round trip, right? Maybe even more. Oh shit. Man, you, I bet you sleep good at night. <laughs> you know you're serious about bike riding when you wear the diaper pants. Man, I've been playing that VR headset and I remember I made the video picking it up. Now that I had it and I've got a good like 20 hours, I'd say, in, in games. Oh my god. Are you that fucking stupid? But weirdly enough as it is, uh, little did I know that VR would make me start doing things like this. Wait, let me let me see what you got in you. Hey guys, look away from me real quick. Where you at? Look away real quick. Look away. You're a good one. I'm actually gonna keep you around. So you go ahead and go back right there. Hey! I'm gonna suck your crap! Oh look, those tents got thrown out of here. SBPD must be watching my videos and they're like, oh you got some tents all up in my park? Say no more. And they straight dipping motherfuckers out. But on a side note, there's way too many people fishing out here, that's for sure. I still don't believe people fish this. Oh shit. I still can't fathom it. Well guys, it's gonna go ahead and conclude this video. Just wanted to get out and bullshit with you for a little bit. As always, links are gonna be down below if you wanna support me in any way, shape, or form. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit uh, fuck! Add that like button and you guys have a, a real good day. I'll see you guys later.